salsa de molcajete, or molcajete salsa. I don't know what you would call it, but it's one of my favorite ways to make salsa. Basically, a molcajete is a pestle and mortar. So here are the ingredients I'll be using today. I'll be using three tomatoes, one large jalapeno, a quarter of this onion, and a couple cloves of fresh garlic. I'm also going to be using salt to taste. You can most definitely boil all of these ingredients, which is very convenient, but today I am going to be roasting them. And I find roasting convenient in my kitchen because it allows me to use the burners on top of the stove and the salsa goes right into the oven. So to start things off, I am going to roughly chop all of my ingredients and place them on a roasting pan. Here we go. Okay, so now that I have chopped and peeled and placed all of my vegetables onto the roasting pan, I will be roasting this in a preheated oven of 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. And I'd also like to mention that all of these ingredients will be listed in the description box below. It has been 20 minutes, and as you can see, I'm also making some tortitas to go along with my salsa today for dinner. So here are all of my roasted tomatoes, onion, garlic, and jalapeno, and it looks wonderful. And again, you can always boil all of these ingredients if that's convenient for you, but I find roasting all of my ingredients really just brings out the flavor of this salsa. I'm going to allow the ingredients to cool off before I start to mash them in my molcajete. Okay, so here is my molcajete, and this is a fairly large molcajete, which is why all of these ingredients will be easily mashed in here. If you have something smaller, you might want to scale down on the tomato, the onion, even the garlic, to make sure that you can adjust the recipe and fit it in your pestle and mortar. So I'm gonna start off with the tomatoes and garlics, little by little, mashing and adding the ingredients. And I will also add salt to taste. I'm probably going to be adding a quarter to a half teaspoon of salt, but again, it's to your taste. My molcajete salsa is done. And at this point, if you taste it and you think it needs more salt, then add more salt. 
but this is good for me. I also wanted to show you what I was serving my molcajete salsa with today. I made tuna and potato tortitas. Be on the lookout for that recipe here soon. And again, this salsa is so easy, so fresh and delicious. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching. Hey guys, you can click on the video icons for more recipes, or you can click on my picture icon to subscribe. Thanks for watching!